Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Tectonica. Yeah, in between episodes I added a little bit onto our system over here and we now have a few more items being produced automatically and I would like to spend a little bit of time getting the drill bits sorted out. Uh, right now we, we have a lot of the purple ones and I should maybe pick some up and we'll go and drop them in the box so that we can carry on advancing but I, I would like to get them a little bit more automated because right now they need miners to get produced and they will continue to need miners to be produced because the purple drills are in the recipe for the next level the green drills so we do need to automate miners uh, everything else is automated it's just the miners and I may do a separate little offshoot facility for it miners just need iron frames and iron components so I'm going to have to build something maybe around this area to handle that. Right now I've, I've extended my production for the copper wire. Just uh, one more machine out so that we could keep up because let's hit alt so we can see what we're making. Firstly, I have the blue cores being automated and they are going very slowly because of the processes that are very slow, but they are going into that. So we, we have a second core composer and I moved the first one. Then I've got Mark 1 belts being produced over here. Those Mark 1 belts are also then being fed over to make the Mark 2 belts, which is teeing off the Shiverthorn line. And uh, we're bringing the copper components over from the copper machine. And we are making, well, we have lots of Mark 2 belts. And then over here, I'm making the inserters. They just need mechanical components and I have way too many of them. This is limited to one stack and those also are needed in the long inserters with the addition of more mechanical components and we have a whole stack of those. So I still need to do the fast inserters and the filter inserters which aren't too difficult. Both of them use the normal inserters. One of them uses electrical components and the other one uses Kindlevine extract, but quite a bit of it. So I will have to increase our Kindlevine extract production. Anyway, there, there's also a lot of exploring to do because we went up to X-Ray and we've explored that. Today we need to get to Excalibur and maybe have a look at research as well. I'm in search of the Mark II miners, maybe the Mark II smelters if we can get them. But yeah, a lot to do. Let's get stuck in. Right, it's up at the top in the farming area. Uh, I decided I needed to use up more of this Shiverthorn extract and because it was just, it was clogging up the machines. So what I've done is I've taken some of the Kindlevine stems and the Shiverthorn coolant and I've put it into this machine which is now making Kindlevine stems washed. If you take Kindlevine stems washed and you put one of them into the thresher, you get Kindle extract kindlevine extract which is pretty nice because we need more kindlevine extract the the current kindlevine extract that we have is all going to making fuel which doesn't leave much when we need to go on and build some for example uh fast inserters so that that we need to sort out as well uh, i was just experimenting a little bit but what i may do then is now that i've got this sort of oh let me just uh limit this one yeah, now that I've got this sorted out, maybe I can feed this into a thresher and then root it into this line so that it's it's shared. Or I don't know, maybe I won't. Maybe this will be dedicated, but we'll figure it out. But we do have some blue cores. So let's go and have a look at our tech tree and see what is good. Now, I don't want to spend them all because I, I do need to still unlock the mining drill and the excavator. Well, I don't need this excavator, but yet we're going to have to start making this one. I'm going to need an assembler setup as well. I could do the mole. I can't say that I'm in a huge hurry for it. Under synthesis, what have we got here? Threshing speed two. I have to say I'm not in a terrible hurry for that. Can't do these. Um, Biodensity 3. Now that will extend the life of our bio bricks. So I'm thinking that might be a good idea. I'm going to get that one. Logistics. Uh, we can get tool belt mark 3. That will that will increase our toolbars at the bottom to 10 rows. Because we've got 4, it'll increase it by 6. We could get pack size 3, which will give us a lot more carry capacity. Uh, I'll think about that one. Hauler cap conveyor belt mark 3. We haven't... Uh, haven't got enough blue cores for that yet transportation 
I did upgrade the suit speed three. I found the I found the little data card in the uh, uh, what was that little office down in ad, in the admin area uh, underneath the ground. Rail rush. I'm not in a hurry for because I haven't set up any monorails yet. Accumulation two. Now there's an interesting one that increases the capacity charge of all accumulators to 150 percent i think i'm gonna do that one because right now we we're getting 690 megajoules if we do that well that's going to increase and i have oh i might as well do the ones the the ones with the purple cores so everything under energy is done science uh bio brick diesel now this is good this is actually pretty cool and i'm thinking that i probably want to do this because this will give us a huge amount of fuel power uh, compared okay let's let's go and see okay the f base fuel power on biobricks is 60. if you increase it uh, that increases by 65 percent which is probably around 100. i don't know I, i'm not going to do the maths in my head right now but uh if we head over to to the biobrick diesel that's 240 so it's like it's a lot more than the normal bio brick and we use bio brick to make it but we use 10 bio bricks to make it now i don't know if that's worth it because we also need shiverthorn coolant added into that mix so i'm not 100 percent sure if it's worth it but it might become necessary so we'll bear it in mind and then under construction well i'm i might as well do these because i have purple cores that i'm not using so i'll get those out the way and just run through make sure there isn't anything else that requires purple cores Ah, uh, tool belt mark three i might as well get that and we'll see the effects of it transportation no these are all blue energy no that's sorted out science nothing i can do there and nothing i can do there okay so right now we don't need any more purple cores the blue cores we are going to need so i'm going to save them i'm going to let them carry on building up but let's have a look at our tool belt so if us if i hold down shift and i roll my mouse button oh it only goes up to six all right, I misread that. I thought it was added six. Anyway, so, well, we have six toolbars now. That's pretty handy. So you can have one dedicated to your tools, one dedicated to machines, one to logistics stuff like the belts and the inserters and that. So, yeah, pretty good. Anyway, we've been messing around here for a bit. Let's uh, go and do some exploring. I would really like to find the Minor Mark IIs uh, as soon as possible. We're going to head up to Excalibur. Now, this is new. We haven't been here yet. And there's a marker. But yeah, the minor Mark IIs are very, very important because we can't progress really without them. Because we, we can't mine Atlantum without them. So yeah, um, do I need to go under here? Is there a way through this? Oh yes, there's a tunnel down here. Oh, there's some stuff to scan. And there's more Atlantum. Awesome. And this looks like quite a big node. Fantastic. Oh, just as a matter of interest, something I noticed, if you go into the elevator, now I wasn't really paying a lot of attention, but if you go into the elevator and you hover over the level that you want to go to, or that you that you want to see, it tells you what resources are in that area. I'll show you when I get back to the elevator, but it looks like, um, have a look at the map. Yeah, that that's a, that's a way through. So let's mull. All right, it is 3D, so I should probably do this. Huh, yeah, I should have gone up. There we go. We are we are up. Super. And we're still not there. Oh, right. Now, I have mining charges. This is going to be a whole bunch more Atlantum. But I need to blow it up first. So, where are those mining charges? There they are. I will put them into position 9 for now. And then we can plant a few and make a big hole. All right. It's time. All right, slowly we're getting through, but there, there's quite a lot of it around here. So we're going to have to come and clear all this out because I think there are a couple of Atlantum nodes. And this may actually be a good opportunity to use the, the monorail system. All right, we are... Oh, I just made a big hole for myself. Oh, I think these are directional. All right, that is not breaking. All right, I think we have reached a limit there. Okay, it doesn't seem like we can break out much more of this. Yeah, I'll come back and find the nodes. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Anyway, let's hop in here. Welcome to the Excalibur. So there will be a lot of stuff to... Ah, thank you very much. We are bound for our final destination, Sector Victor. 
Upon arrival, preparations for our scheduled reascension will begin immediately. Do not delay in exiting the vessel. Okay. All right. We are missing cooling systems and copper wire. No, we're not. Oh, I am. I'm missing more copper wire. Ah, well. Yes, inbound. Supply facility access door with self-repair materials. This store has another self-repair requirement, but I'm in no position to argue. This is an emergency. If you haven't started making those yet, get going. All right. Well, that's that sucks a bit. I'm going to have to head back and go and get some more copper wire. But that's no problem because I'm making this, so we have plenty. All right. Doesn't seem like I can go any further without us, so give me a moment. I'll be right back. Excavation complete. Elevation to boundary level restored. Well, that's... Upgrade to excavator bit mark three moderately recommended. Okay. Got a stack of copper and... And we head back. Okay, just to arrive back, uh, just so that you can see what I was talking about earlier. So, Victor, uh, you can see there are resources. Iron, copper, and limestone storage. There's iron and limestone. Hydro, copper, and iron. Um, and on admin, we have some Atlantum and, and limestone. So, yeah, you can, you can see what resources are in each area. Foundry area looks pretty good as well. So, there you go. Very handy stuff. And we are now working on going to the barracks. Anyway, we are back at the Excalibur area. So I can go back to this and... So there you go. And repair the door. And there's the door. Uh, I've checked out this area. There isn't anything else we can really get over here. So, okay. As you can see, this place is also not exactly the way it's supposed to be. So let's hop in. Some memories rushing back. For a moment, I thought... And the music the changes. to the expedition that factory and all those people i was expecting to find they were a part of it and so are we Ooh, nice oh by the way i put down the the two crank the two mark ii crank generators that i found in the last episode they're like 10 times more power than than the mark ones it's fantastic okay what do we got here uh mole nine by nine wow it's getting big okay mark four bits and what have we got there? Oh, um, purple cores. All right, we just have to keep an eye out because there are bits and pieces everywhere and it's likely that I miss some if I'm not careful. All right, there's another jobby. Uh, nine by nine tunneling. It's available in the tech tree, good. Uh, I think I just got that twice. All right, um, oh, we've got, what is that? Very acrobatic of you to find a way up here, Breaker. This navigational sphere is inactive, but your scanner was able to pull a databank entry from it. I think I've got everything in this area. Unless I need to go higher for something. Doesn't look like it. All right, now we go through here. Look up, Breaker. You were too late. Only one person would have been in that chair. Oh, there he is. And thanks for that reference. Everyone's dead, Dave. All right, do I need to scan him? No, I don't. Now I just have to try and figure out a way out of here. And it shouldn't be too hard because there's a big hole in the floor. And there's a green cube. Now we've seen a yellow one like that before. This is Colonel Stefan Wagner. Oh, the Stefan. is failing to transmit a signature. Identify yourself. Paladin? Sir, you're alive. In much the same way that you are, it would seem. It is a strange thing to be a witness to your own lifeless body. I was unlucky enough to end up next to mine, too, but, yeah. I'm not sure what we are now, but I know somehow that I am still myself. I am conscious. I am choosing these words. My experience of this loss is emotional. Hey, I'm in no better shape than you are. And this breaker has something wrong with their suit. For all we know, they could be a stack of drones in a trench coat. Either way, at least we've got a body to work with. Precisely. For now, we must focus on goals that we can achieve. If the sensors from my command bridge were correct, our manufacturing in Sector Victor has been compromised. How far has your exhaustive reconstruction progressed? Exhaustive reconstruction? Sir, it's the entire sector. My apologies, Sergeant. I did not realize you had more pressing commitments. 
We're rebuilding, sir, but mostly to focus on recovering signals for search and rescue. We can't reach command. We don't have orders, and for all we know, every sector could be exactly like this one. Gone. Sergeant, your unit could go for months without direction from the surface. That's what deep reconnaissance is about. That's why we chose you to lead it. The resources we came here to harvest, refine, and bring home to Earth are still needed. There is no hardship we can face that does not pale in comparison to the strife that will be visited upon humanity if we fail. Until we learn otherwise, our mission to industrialize this world remains. And rest assured that we will rescue everyone we can to help us accomplish it. But we will accomplish it. I understand. Either way, sir, we're going to give it everything we've got. Good. Now let us find our friends. All right, there we go. Uh, we have we have an ore vein over here, and we have a. There's a bit of Atlantum here. Um, there's at least two nodes. There might be a third, but we'll come back for those. But yeah, this this area gives a whole bunch of story. Not much more to do here, so let's go up to research. All right, what do we have here? First of all, what resources are here? Uh, we have Atlantum and limestone. Cool. Very high cliffs. So let's follow the river because I think this. I think I know where this leads us. Uh huh. Waterfalls. Yeah. Oh, look at all of this. Hang on. Am I missing anything? I probably am because I'm not looking very carefully. All right, a whole bunch of water wheels that I'm not sure that I even need. All right, we'll head down this side. Now, this this area is pretty big as far as I remember. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this game is nicely crafted. All right. Oops. Research assignment not detected. Access denied. We do not have time for these distractions. Mm-hmm. System, receive authorization Zeta-17. Senior command authorization acknowledged. Override of facility restriction now in effect. Thanks, Captain. So you weren't really supposed to be in here either, sir? I'm up for building some half-finished prototypes if you are. Focus your attention on the mining drill. Reckless interference in classified research projects is likely to be responsible for our situation in the first place. All right. Oh, this guy's way too serious. He needs to chill. Okay, I'm not finding anything yet. Ah, there we go. What we got? All speed three tech. Okay. Uh, oh, lovely. More of these. Man, we're going to have a lot of power. And we are collecting a nice amount. Let's just have a look. Yeah, we, we're collecting a, a nice amount of mark two assemblers that's very cool all right we got another sleeping area and that is conveyor belt mark three. Oh, look at that that i believe is a smelter mark two that's not what i wanted but i accept because that's the one i want all right let's uh, move across here see if there's anything to scan yep and that is a uh, tool belt four. Oh. Good. This is what I was looking for. Stop. Yeah. Thieves. What are you doing in our laboratory? Ma'am, we're sorry for the intrusion. This is Technical Sergeant Amanda Sparks. Ah, oh, oui. Technique. Avec quoi? Une pied de biche. <laughs> Miss Laurent, I will remind you of our oath to uphold a common language. Colonel, I did not realize you were there. Your dedication to expeditionary principles is always a pleasure. Are you and a sergeant having fun running around playing army? I apologize if my automated message accused you of mutiny. I'm certain you would never take part in something so uh, controversial. Apology accepted. <laughs> what is your status, Major? It's quite intriguing. An unknown incident seems to have provoked the planetary core to release a large wave of energy across all of Calyx. This wave has had a particular effect on certain indigenous materials that I have been attempting to understand ever since we arrived. If these materials can be honest, I believe we can achieve our production goals with a fraction of the efforts we had planned for. And 
secure the future of humanity for millennia. Ma'am, I think the Colonel was asking for a report on your status. Are you okay? Are you alone? And I know this question may come across as unusual, but are you a cube? Am I a cube? Yes, ma'am. No, Sergeant. I am not a cube. And I am very busy. Please get out of my laboratory and stop setting off alarms so I can concentrate on saving the world. Feel free to dig up, smelt, and merry-go-round all the garbage your heart desires in the meantime. Major, industrial construction is what we came to Calyx to do, and this is not the first time you have made exaggerations about the potential of your work. I am ordering you to contact command and inform them that we require immediate assistance. Your research into this energy wave can wait. Oh, how unfortunate. This radio is malfunctioning. Oh, bon chance. Connection terminated. <laughs> Ah, uh, she Sergeant, doesn't care. Yourself and the Groundbreaker are to disregard, Mirage. She is likely by herself at a remote research outpost far from here and has no grasp on the gravity of what has transpired. Understood, sir. We'll keep building. Your mining drills are unacceptable. Why are you not utilizing the Mark II? We never had the parts down here to fix them when they broke, sir. And Atlantum was extremely good at breaking them. Extremely disappointing. The entire purpose of our science team was to adapt our technologies for such purposes. I know they were working on some kind of Mark II Part II, but it also sounded like they were making the whole thing up. Probably turned out to be more difficult than they thought. We shall see for ourselves. Okay, relay circuit. No idea if the scientists were using these plants as scenery or an experiment. They weren't secretive, but they didn't exactly go out of their way to tell people what they were doing, either. Personally, All right. I'd toss them into a thresher and be done with it. The plants, n not the scientists. <laughs> well, I didn't mean that. This dish must have been for some kind of experimental communication technique. As you can see, it's currently being pointed at a few hundred miles of rock, which makes absolutely no sense. I know there was some weird science to how the production terminals communicated with each other across sectors, and I remember it being one of those things that seemed to go down constantly. The backup system was a ton of buried wire. We like the backup system. Local signal deciphered. Ingress RD3215. Report to production terminal Victor for triangulation. Gosh, we gotta go, go back to Victor. In that facility, a part of me thought that maybe I was making all of this up. My crew, my life, the expedition. Your mind starts filling in the blanks you don't want to think about anymore. Like it knows there isn't any harm in it because you're never getting out of there anyways. A sinking feeling that keeps sinking. But it was real. There were hundreds of people here. Thousands. They worked here. We cared about them. We were in this together. I'm not saying all this to hold on to whatever happened to me. I'm saying this to let it go. Okie dokie. Alright, well in the meantime, I'm just gonna run around and... Try and do some exploring. And also get myself out of the big hole that I jumped into, which I did on purpose, just by the way. All right, we are up. Now we need to go higher up. Yeah, this this puts us on the same level that we were on. This is the route down. So somewhere around here, oh, there's, there's the entrance to the waterfalls. And we will take the sloped roofs because we need to get up top to that. That's a long way up. So I'm going to get... Uh, Right. I, it wants me to go back to the elevator, but I don't want to go there yet. Now, I can't remember if there's a tunnel route up to the top. So I'm going to build myself some stairs if I can. Uh, that'll do. And then just a little platform. Oh no, I don't have... Uh, I don't have platforms. Oh well. We'll use the small ones. 
Okay, we are up. I think this is the right level. All right, the scanner should be out. Oh, I found a, a ramp, tunnel ramp. There's lots of limestone. Awesome. And this comes out where? Oh my. Unknown entity detected. Alert. Full spectrum analysis failure. Caution advised. Mm-hmm. Scanning it doesn't return anything in the data bank. I doubt that something of this significance could have escaped us. A central record of it must exist. I don't know. I would kind of understand if nobody wanted to make a record of this. Doesn't it give you a strange feeling? I find it unsettling, but I do not sense that we are in any imminent danger. It may be that you have a memory of it that I do not. No, it, it's not a memory. It's a, a feeling. Very well. Establish a protection zone around this object to prevent any of our machines from coming into contact with it. Sir, somebody already set one. The zone already exists. All right, well, we made it up. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything on top of this. And we need to get to that door. Facility access door unavailable. Refer to display panel for self-repair requirements. I'm trying to... Oh, right there it is. Okay, Mark II belt and cooling systems. Why am I always missing just a little bit of something? I'm just going to handcraft those. Oh, it's Mark IIs. Darn. Okay, we'll put those in and soon enough we'll have what we need over here. All right, done. Repair. And... Oh, good. Look at that. I'll take all of that. Thank you. Can't open there. Nothing down there. More stuff for our data bank. Requisition for local plant life to be delivered to a science team for analysis. It looks like the request was approved, but doing it was marked as a low priority by command, even though the request itself was marked as urgent. We didn't come here for science, but I don't remember this kind of hostility about it either. What were they doing here? Okay, so it looks like there are doors over here that I can't get through. Um... Yeah, there's definitely more to this area, and I can't get in there. I don't know if that will become available later. Is there something that I've missed? All right, now if I wanted to go back down to that, well, I probably will go back down to that. I can just uh, leap off here. Um, yeah, we already scanned the satellite dish, and there is nothing left in here for me to do. So there are a lot of caves and bits and pieces around this area, which I will I'll have to explore at some point. Once again, I haven't found a data card on the ground, so I don't know if that is a thing. Okay, we're back here. I need to head towards the other side. But yeah, there's Atlantum in here, at least we know that. There's quite a lot of it too. Yeah, some there and a little bit where we're exiting and then there's a whole lot of limestone here and more limestone up there. And we are back. Well, we're at research. Uh, we might as well have a look at the foundry level. I'm going a little bit further than I maybe should. Ah, uh, monorail stations. Good. Oh, this is cool. Look how much stuff is in here. This was one of our forge centers. It was easier to centralize smelting in one place, especially since a lot of our ingots would get packed and sent to sectors above us for more advanced refinement. Fun fact, if you were somehow able to take your suit off in here when this place was going full blast, your body would have basically been like a marshmallow over a campfire. And there's more stuff over there to scan. And I just saw one of those recording device things. Let's have a look at that. What we've done there. Those cubes and how they... I can't stop thinking about it. Precisely my... I don't... Entire expedition became focus distraction. I know. We have distractions already. And... If you are sealing the entrance, I am more than replacing you with somebody who... Okay, well that... I'm fine. Okay, not finished. When it's done. No. When done, we never meet again. Oh, there's a little bit more to the story. Alright, so if there's that many smelters, there should be uh, someplace with lots of miners. And there's a whole bunch of 
stuff over here, more building, building material that I can grab. And there's a potential pathway through here. There it is. All right, pretty narrow area, but we're through. And there's a box uh, or a point of interest like somewhere around here. Um, yeah, just a bit below us. Looks like there's a, a way to actually get there without having to dig. Yeah, I could be wrong. Ah, okay, there's a hole there. And there it is. And more of the bio brick diesel. Nice. Can I remove it? I can. Let's see if there's anything else. Yep, there's there's another box up over on that side. Yeah, these caves, they, they make you feel a little closed in. I have to say the sound design in this game is spectacular. The right music seems to play exactly at the right time. Oh, there's a new spot. What do we have here? Looks like another kind of residential area. But more stuff that I can that I can claim. I actually I I don't remember what this place was for. Maybe there were groundbreakers who had put them together just to have a place of their own. Oh. The tent was always good enough for me, but I wouldn't blame you for wanting to build a little home away from home. So much good stuff here. Wow. All right. There's that uh, recording device here. What happened at the monolith was... I understand nothing. Don't listen. People believe they hold the answer to it. One time. Run out. I thought... I was seeing when the monolith activated. I was... saw it coming. Felt like... about the ruins. Oops. Your actions have threatened it. When we more than ever expect this to to you. And everything to me. Please tell me fix this. Okay, well, there's there's uh, a lot being revealed story wise. Uh, but we need to get out of here and there's more of these lights. I like these. Yeah, when I start kind of making formal factories and maybe residential spots, meh, we'll, we'll be using some lights. All right, let's see what else there is in this area. All right, there's, there's a point of interest over there. Uh, is it in that building? Something that I missed? Or was it the chest that I already found that I didn't delete? I think it was. There we go. Done. Oh, nearly missed a data card. Um, Hauler cap 3 tech available. Okay. There are a lot of smelters my goodness but i'm getting components for them i'm not getting the actual smelters and honestly i don't really need the components that much i'm getting a heck of a lot of limestone though um okay it looks like there's a couple of things at the back of this room somewhere in here all right let's do some scanning oh another one of those lights okay what have we got ah there it is well hidden and this is just a, a smelter mark three good lord that's that's a lot and more bio brick diesel cool may as well grab all of this stuff while i'm down here wait there's something else here hang on a sec oh it's up can i get in there oh that's nice i can actually climb this thing it's still up from here ah well right at the top um good and definitely worth it wow i'm gonna have so much power that's insane i really need to put more of those down and we'll just delete that good that's a long way up here okay so back to the map don't really see anything else but i'm definitely gonna have to come and break this place down but we have we have another area over here have i been here i don't think i've been here oh i have this is where i made the hole through to or is it oh no i didn't i haven't been here all right well we're here now all right we are in to a new area and I do see green dots. There's one somewhere around here. And there's also a vein of some kind. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, that wasn't a green dot. So it was just part of that, which is up top. There it is. Iron vein. But there is another point of interest over on that corner. I see it. I see the box. There it is. And... Chilthorn coolant and biobrick diesel. I'm collecting quite a bit of that. All right. 
Okay, box is gone. And this will then guide us back. It doesn't seem like there's anything else. That little bit there that on the map, if you have a look, there's a there's a little bit that's actually a bit of ore, so not important. Anyway, a few more things to, to grab over here. And I think we can head back to base now. Alright, there's uh there's something at PT Vector. Let us see. Oh, we just need to go to the terminal and that will show us another place. That's another reason I don't want to explore too much, although I've gone a little bit ape in the last two episodes. Uh, the game will guide you where you need to be when you need to be there. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Heavy interference. Okay. Key technologies detected. And... It's sending us back to the elevator, and it may be sending us to somewhere that we've already been to. Research. Yep, we've already been there. So I might as well just pop in there one more time and get it off the HUD. All right, good. It's off the HUD. I think we can go. All right, let's have a look at our power. Uh, I've done some upgrades and added some stuff. I have a... Wow, one gigawatt. Well, one, one gigajoule of accumulator charge. I don't even know where that came from. Maybe it was the upgrade. Anyway, uh, 18,000 kilowatts or 18 megawatts of power and as you can see I've put a couple of these in it was more of a test than anything so now that I have picked up a few I'm going to put them down just need to clear a bit of space and as far as I know if you look at them they only they, they only do 10 newton meters of torque so let's put them down that's three and then I need to get two more down on this side. And if we have a look at our power now, 27. Oh, <laughs> and I've still got, well, how many of these things? I've still got 17 of them. That's another, that's another 17 megawatts that I can put down. Cool. Well, eventually we may end up replacing all of these. Don't know yet. We did pick up the Mark II minor shot. So let's have a look at the tech tree. That's a smelter. We can do research on that. I've got a whole bunch of Mark II assemblers, so I'll put them in strategic places. I'm not going to research that yet. I can't anyway because I actually haven't scanned the the fragment. But the one I want is under terraforming, and it takes 60 blue cores, and I now have it. Very, very nice. And if I go to synthesis, I have enough to do the, the smelter Mark II. That's also very nice. So that is going to push through production at a massive rate you'll need relay circuits to build those mark ii machines breaker ah and i think upgrading pt x-ray is the only way to make that possible yes all right well at least we've got them and now that means that we we can start planning for atlantum but if we go to production yeah we do need the mark ones to make the mark twos oh that's a bit harsh because i still have to set up a mark one facility to do the the purple drill bits but I think I'll, I'll probably do that between episodes. It's going to be three machines, three extra machines. And then I'll split the output of those and put them into into storage so that we have them for making the Mark II miners. Because I think we're just going to switch. Eventually, obviously, everything just gets upgraded. And then I have to finish this just to get the other inserters sorted out. The fast inserter and the filter inserter. Uh, we have access to Mark III belts, I think it said. Let's just check. Not there. Tech tree. Logistics. Yeah, 180 blue cores. So I'll have to save up for those. But they are going to need the Mark IIs. Then electric motors and Atlantum ingots. Now, electric motors I haven't seen yet. So we'll we'll have to figure that one out. But I think then production is going to move up to X-ray. Because that's where there's a lot of resources. Everything that we need is pretty much there. And then at the same time, I've got to set up a... a little production line to make assemblers because we need assemblers to make the green mark 3 bits everything else is pretty straightforward but i would like to get the ball rolling on this production and then we can also then make assemblers so yep there's a bit to do and we are a little short of space on this side so i'm thinking that probably on this side is where i'm going to make the miners and the assemblers or the bits and then as they get used up we'll send them up the elevator to the next level where we will be able to do the level four bits it gets complicated but things will get easier and uh these veins are not infinite i mean they they last a very long time but they do eventually run out as far as i know although i haven't seen yeah this one's moved unless i just put it in a bad place but you can see how they extend out so we may have to keep an eye on that. Looks like the rest of them are fine though. 
All right, not too worried about that. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one here. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Give me your comments. Let me know your thoughts. And if you've got any tips, I think we're doing pretty well now. And I'm definitely upgrading this machine. Let me show you how I do it before we go. Take that out. We've got 37 Mark II assemblers. Goodness me. Put them over there. Rotate it. Pop it into position. Set the recipe to processor units. And there we go. That'll move things out faster. So it'll double the speed of what we had, but with the same, with the same amount of resources. And that will help us get our blue research going a little bit faster. So that's it. Thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, cheers.